That's cool. Greg, how about you? You're also in retail. What are you seeing towards electrification? Any trends that racers should be aware of, at least in terms of selecting brands for sponsorship? Any, uh, anything on the horizon that, that looks better for EVs? You know, tied to the racing side, not, you know, nothing dramatic today. I know that uh, Dave Cole and King of the Hammers have done some things to try to get some electrified vehicles out there in King of the Hammers and, and start, you know, I think he's offered a million dollar uh, uh, award or reward for the, you know, if someone can win with an electric car at King of the Hammers. Um, don't quote me on that and don't hold me to that. But <laughs> in our stores, we're, you know, we're not seeing a tremendous amount today, but, you know, it does, like the guys have said, it, you know, we don't do a lot under the hood. So whether it's electric or, you know, gas powered, you know, it's where we can handle either one. I built, we built some, uh, F-150 uh, Ford Lightnings recently, and and uh, we've seen some Rivians accessorized as well. So um, so we we take them all. We love them all. And uh, having said that, I just got my new Raptor R, and I love to fire that thing up every day and and uh, listen to that V8 power. So, um, you know, my my lean is still that way, but uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see where it goes. And like I said, I think that it's, uh, you know, it's going to trend that way. And uh, but over time and, and uh, yeah, it's coming, but slowly.